Today marks one month since Hamas terrorists launched a bloody and deadly attack in Israel, killing 1,400 people and sparking a war between Israel and Hamas. In the aftermath, Gaza's health ministry, which is run by Hamas, says more than 10,000 people have died on its side of the border since the war began. Now, Israeli ground troops are inside Gaza and say they are tightening their grip on Gaza City. ABC's Ines de la Quitera, live in Jerusalem, with more. Ines. Good afternoon, David and Liz, and vigils being held across Israel as the country marks one month since the October 7 terror attacks. Exactly one month ago, Hamas militants stormed across Israel's southern border with Gaza, killing more than 1,400 people there, according to Israeli authorities. Military officials also saying Hamas has taken more than 200 people hostage. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu calling this a day of mourning. And around the country, Israeli citizens paused to remember the victims of the terror attack. Well, I believe in the Israelis, and we will grow, and we will um, overcome all this disaster. Meanwhile, Israel's Defense Forces military campaign against Hamas grinds on, smoke rising over Gaza as bombs are dropped from Israel's air assault. The IDF releasing footage, it says, shows troops destroying tunnels built by Hamas in northern Gaza. According to the Hamas-run health ministry, more than 10,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza during the conflict, while more than 25,000 have been injured. Displaced Gazans seen heading south on foot, trying to flee Israel's aerial attacks. We are civilian. We love to peace from our country, from our land. What do you want us to do? Family members of the more than 200 hostages believed to be held by Hamas trying to keep their loved ones at the forefront. My father has been uh, kidnapped and uh, is held hostage by Hamas. We know that he was injured. He's 83 years old. Um, we don't know where he is. And Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told ABC News he is open to small pauses in the fighting to allow for humanitarian aid into Gaza, but that he would only consider a ceasefire if Hamas releases all of the hostages.